And ladies and gentlemen, we are back here for women's action. And here comes Sonic Screen, the undefeated Demon Queen. Bars! But anyway. <clears throat> Sorry, I just, I, I just lost train of thought. Um, Silent Scream. Yes. It's going to take on no other than the XCW Women's Champion, J.C. Penny. For the Women's Championship at Go For Lord. The question is, can Silent Scream defeat J.C. Penny? Well, you know, that is a great... But a stupid, but a but a stupid question at the same time. Of course she can. But anyway, you know I keep hearing that. Uh, I keep hearing that uh, silent scream is the women's champion from now on. That's what she said. Back to the age earlier. Like 15 minutes ago during the match. But anyway. Sand Scream is inside the ring with these creepy, creepy eyes. Contacts. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, we have Sonic Scream in the building. And here comes Christina, the XCW Women's Champion, the first XCW Women's Champion ever in XCW history. Because, you know, a very long time ago, we didn't have no... Oh, wait, no. Oh, wait, no, she is. She is. She is the very first. Never mind. WWE 13. WWE 13. Never mind. That's what that's where XCW all started, WWE 13. That's where Psycho Red was born. Psycho Red was born in WWE 13. You know, I feel like giving Psycho Red to bring back his old retro, but I don't know how people's gonna react to it. Just regular black jeans with regular black hair. Short black hair, by the way. But anyway, Christina, she lost to uh, Silent Scream before. I think, I think it was the first match of Silent Scream, and maybe the second. I don't know. And here we go. The bell is about to ring, ladies and gentlemen. And here we go. And oh, Jason Penny's here. Uh, I know what's going on. She's gonna, she's gonna watch. She's gonna watch what's going on. Somewhat smart for JC Penny to come out to watch, but at the same time, that is stupid. Because you know why? Because that demon is dangerous. Yeah, I just see Ishmael in the back right there with the AJ Styles shirt. But anyway, let the match continue. Like I said, the, mat, the bell didn't run yet. Okay, Chan, ring the bell. Thank you. And here we go. Oh, what the snap out of nowhere. Real quick. It's about to be over. It's about to be over. I give three minutes. Message. No, I didn't say message because of the move. I just said message because I got a message from Izzy. And I'm sorry, I'm not looking at the match real quick. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. They're fighting back and forth, back and forth. And Silent Scream takes Christina over the top rope. And here we go. Christina getting beat up by Silent Scream. JC Penny was distracting, was distracting her during the match. But now, here we go again. And oh, snap. She got Spider Sense. She got Spider Sense. God damn, she just 
quickly just moved out the way and just made Christina go on to JC Penny just now. And wait, oh! Get a crucifix right there. Holy crap. And now Christina. Here we go. Going for that cross body. No. Scoop slam. Sonny Scoop takes her down. And now a knee drop right to the face. And now here we go. Ho. My goodness. Sonny Scream. Uh oh, here we go with that kick. Uh oh, here we go. Here we go. DDT. Goodness. Here we go with the pin. One, two. No, it was a one count. Sounds going good and it's getting upset. Here we go. Forehead bite. Ladies and gentlemen. One, two, three, and it's over. Christina still undefeated, ladies and gentlemen. My goodness graciousness, man. God damn. Just defeated her with a forehead bite. That's all she did. That's all she did, folks. Sonny Scream is the winner of this match. God damn, I don't know how many wins she I don't know how many wins she has, but holy crap. But now ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned for more. Because there is more matches, more to come. Three matches left. Let's go. Make sure you guys take a small in the way. And ladies and gentlemen, we are back for tag team action, another tag team match. That theme song. I always get a moment silence for at least one minute. This song is just absolutely glorious, ladies and gentlemen. Uh. This is so wonderful, folks. Because Mr. Nine Five is teaming up with the number one contender for that World Heavyweight Championship that Mr. Nine Five is holding around his waist. The Fear taking on Max and Chris Danger, and also known as the Dangerous Alliance. And ladies and gentlemen, Max Danger is taking on Damian Blackwell next week to see who will go to the eight-man ladder match. And also this. Blake Austin is taking on Adam Payne next week. And this is called the last chance to see which one of those two men who just lost 
And it, as a matter of fact, no. It's not going to be Blake Austin and Adam Payne. It's going to be the other people that's going to be taking on each other to see who will go advance to the eight-man ladder match. Because, ladies and gentlemen, it is going to be at least six people in a over the top rope battle royal to see who's going to the ladder match. Those last men that lost is going to be in that match, folks. So get ready. It's called a last chance to see who will be in that match. But anyway, Jamie Blackwell, Max Danger, who's gonna win next week to go to go inside that fifth no, I'm sorry, not fifth spot. The seventh spot, ladies and gentlemen. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going for Damian Blackwell. I messed up once about Adam Payne. I'm going for Damian Blackwell. I don't know who you guys are going for, but I'm going for Damian Blackwell next week. It'll be funny that both dangers are both in the same ring at the same time. But anyway. We got the fear over here. Taking a sweet time coming to the ring. And the fear said that he has a brand new attire coming. So he can't wait to use it. It's part of his imagination that he has running through his head. Here we go, these two men are here. And here comes the Dangerous Alliance. Gotta edit that Alliance word. Cause I figure out how to fix um, these words now. Cause these damn words keep messing up. But anyway, Chris Danger, Max Danger here. Take on these two men. Chris Danger is already inside this eight-man ladder match. Max Danger, like I said, will be taking on Damian Blackwell next week. And also, there will be a eight-man, I mean a six-man battle royal. Here we go. Tagged in early. Blindsided. It's not a fun telling the fear that he got this. Because he means business. And this 95 knows what's best for business, ladies and gentlemen. And here we go. Suplex net breaker. Beautiful. Beautiful there. And here we go. Blackwell. I mean, this 95 early with the pen to paper. God damn. He knows what's best for business. Like, oh, wait. What the hell's going on? Oh. Hold on. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. Uh-oh. That's not good. Oh, yep, that's not good. Here we go, Chris Danger in the ring. Baseball slide on both of these men. Oh, man. And the referee's telling Chris Danger to get back to his corner. It was, it was him and his son. That's DQ. Now Max Danger. Tags in his father, Chris Danger, Mr. 95, trying to get to his partner, but his partner's not in the corner. Oh, rolled. Oh, 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 God, that came out of nowhere. Mr. 95 took those hits. Oh, budget cut out of nowhere. Holy shit. <laughs> One, two. Oh, my God. Excuse my language again, but damn, that just came out of nowhere. Oh. And I'm out of five springboard. Centaur flip. Oh man, that just came out of nowhere. After he did that shark on Chris Danger, he just did a budget cut out of nowhere. Oh God. I can't tell what was worse. 
Last week with Psycho Ed doing the Kinshasa out of nowhere or Miss Luna Fall doing the Buzzer Cut out of nowhere. Vote now. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. And here we go. Danger. Going for the inverted crossroads. Holding the arm there. And now Chris Danger tags in Max. Miss 95 is up. Just give me a moment, there's a slight chance of something else, hold on.
<laughs> and here we go. Jawbreaker. Sorry, Kamana. Gentlemen, there you go with uh with uh, uh the winners of uh Dangerous Lights, I think. So uh see you guys soon and uh I'll try to commentate with the other matches. Stay tuned.